to another video with Amy Makes That. I'm so excited you're here for today's tutorial. It is going to be wedding related, which a few of you have been asking for more wedding content. This is on a DIY license plate decal. So I actually made one for my own wedding this past November and it was such a hit. That was probably one of my most well-known Instagram posts and I have like 2,000 likes on it, which is so cool. You can personalize this to any way you like, which I do explain further in the video. So let's stop talking and get into the tutorial. Welcome to voiceover Amy. So this is the lovely template that we have for today's tutorial I'm going to show you exactly how I got the license plate SVG as well as the entire decal first things first We want to decide on our design now I actually have a blog post on this exact tutorial Which I list a bunch of different recommendations you can do such as the location or if you want to put your name, etc Definitely check it out. It's gonna be at www.amymakesthat.com So for today the person that I'm making the license plate for wanted to have the date in the middle along with hearts so in order to get the license plate font you guessed it we are going to go to defont.com and this is the font it's called license plate usa and of course i have a bunch of videos on how to download fonts so i will link the playlist card right here so you can download it but obviously you're going to download this um, again this is for personal use and if you want to use this for commercial use you will have to reach out to them and get the license for that and this is a gift i do not need to purchase that so here i'm just adjusting the size to my template which this, if you couldn't tell, is the one that I made. And then I'm just changing the color to black because I'm very nitpicky, as you may know. And then we will select the shapes button and select the heart and adjust the size to our liking. Again, you can totally customize this to whatever symbols you want. If you want to do like stars or little engagement rings or anything you want, I just loved the idea of the hearts. It was really cute. I'm going to duplicate the heart, make sure they're the same size that I like, and then we can select both and align them and group them. Now, what I did here was I selected everything and centered it vertically because we want to make sure that the hearts are in line with the date. And then we can add in our text. So if you'll see, if you do it lowercase, it shows up in that like little shadowy text, which is what we don't want. So make sure that the text is capitalized unless you want that shadow, of course, it's totally up to you. So we're putting the location there. Again, I'm going to highlight everything and center it horizontally. <laughs> And then I'm going to select the text button again and she wanted the name on the bottom instead of just married since this is for an engagement shoot. So again, you can totally customize this to any way you like. I do have the blog post which I mentioned all of the options that you can use so definitely check that out in the video description below and I will also link it here. But again, I'm just adjusting the size to my liking. <laughs> once I like it, we're going to center it all horizontally once more before I actually weld it. I'm also saving this because this I was working in my old project. So here's how you get to the license plate SVG. Now there's two different ways you can do this. You can either one, Google white license plate, and if you select the first one here, or the second one, it's up to you. You can right click and save the image. You can screenshot it and then you can upload it as an image into Cricut Design Space. Or you can just make a square template and change it to the dimensions of it as well. But I liked the license plate template. Now I'm zooming in here, but this isn't actually the size. It's going to be 12 by six, which I'll show you really quick. The link for this is also in the video description, but the size again, as I mentioned, is 12 by six inches. So we're just going to change the size on this and I'm going to move it to here. Once I like the placement of it, I will hide the license plate SVG and I will weld everything. Now we can click next and click make it, adjust it to the size on the mat. And we are using permanent vinyl today and I'm using black glossy Oracal 651 vinyl, which again is linked in the video description below. Here I'm going to, a little trick I use is I keep the little clear sheet on before I put it on the mat and then I measure it, cut it, and then I'll remove it and place it on just because it's so much easier. Okay, so once we have it placed on the mat, I'll use my brayer tool just for a final seal and then we could insert it into the Cricut. Once 
once it's done, we will click the arrow button, of course, and remove it from the mat. And here I am going to start weeding. So I usually weed the inside first, but since this is kind of bigger than most of my other projects, and I can't really see the in-between of like the 10 and the four, I just remove the background first. But again, that is totally personal preference. So here I'm just weeding the rest of the little areas. out so cute I'm so excited so this is the license plate it comes with a little clear sheet that you can just remove and then I have my transfer tape which is from the Dollar Tree of course again I'm repeating this but it is linked in the video description and then I am measuring it to cut it to the length that I need it Here I'm removing the tape from the backing paper and I like to remove just a little bit of it and then I apply it as I go. So here I'll, I'll apply just a little bit of it and remove it slowly but surely. Then we can take our scraper tool and scrape it down nice and smooth and make sure you really get it down onto the transfer tape. We want to make sure that it, it is really adhered to the tape. And here I'm cutting the excess transfer tape. Then we can flip it on the other side and remove the backing. Nothing came up, which is great, which means we scraped it really good. And now we can measure it and apply it to the decal. I measured this off camera beforehand to make sure that it is even, but since we made our design pretty big, it really shouldn't be too hard to determine the middle of it. So I applied to the bottom half first and then I slowly worked my way towards the upper part. And I'm again using my scraper tool to really scrape it down onto the license plate. Then we can remove our transfer tape and you have an amazing license plate ready for photos, ready for anything that you need it for. It is so cute and super easy. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. As always, I'm so grateful for each and every one of your support and engagement, whether it's a comment, a like. If you liked this tutorial, please do give it a thumbs up and also click my subscribe button to see more videos like this. If you have more wedding video suggestions, decor wise, anything, etc., please let me know in the comments. I hope you all are having an awesome Monday so far and I will see everyone in the next video. Bye!